All right, you guys, today we're checking out how to make this a really cool looking Chrome liquid text here in Adobe Firefly. And of course, we're going to address some of the issues that you guys been asking why is not working with your fonts and your texts. So let's dive in. And now if you want to make liquid Chrome text effect for that process, you're going to need some liquid fonts. Now, if you try this out with some sans serif or a tech font like this one with pixels, it won't work out because it's not liquid. So the AI cannot mold a futuristic high tech font with straight lines and sharp edges is that simple. So for example, in Illustrator, I'm going to select the type tool and I got to go with the Estrella font. This is a free font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description, but as you can see, this one is liquid. The second thing you need to do is export it as a JPEG with white background and black text. As you can see, the text is black. It has the white background. Now let's export as a JPEG. So we're going to go select JPEG test. Let's go and check the use artboard box range one. Click on export. Also, don't try to use really long words and names because it is going to crop it. So now this is like a 1080p artboard. The brand name has six letters and it's totally enough. OK, so let's test this out. Let's go to firefly.adobe.com. We're going to go click on generate and I'm going to delete the prompt here and click on clear and let's go up and make sure to select Firefly image three preview. Now here, this is the white screen. I got to go with 16 by nine and then you got the content type. You can select art, photo or auto. I'm going to go with photo this time. And first we're going to generate some liquid Chrome. So let's go to the prompt section and we're going to type in liquid metallic Chrome blobs, shiny isolated on black. And we're going to go with top view. There you go. And then let's click on try prompt. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. We're going to need to try to generate first these shiny Chrome blobs as a reference. So for example, I'm going to download this one and I'm going to generate some more to find some better results even. OK, so I downloaded the best Chrome liquid blobs that I found and I'm going to use some of these as a reference and we're going to go here to the left and here you can see the reference. And for this one, we actually going to upload the text. So click on upload. And as you can see, I got a couple of typo variations here. And first, I'm going to go with this liquid text panther with the Estrella font. And after that, we're also going to check out with some pixel or sans serif fonts how it's going to perform. So click on open continue and I'm going to increase the strength to 100% scroll down and here we got the style reference and then here we're going to upload the liquid chroma blobs that we generated and I'm going to go and select the last one for example click on open and then here on the left I'm going to decrease the strength to zero visual intensity to low and then we're going to go and click on generate and this is how the results looks like. And they look perfect from the first try. I also going to save them because all of them are just perfect. All right, so let's try this out with a different font. So I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to click on the X here and upload another one. And I'm going to try it out with a simple sans serif. Open, strength on maximum and click on generate. And check this out, it worked a little bit. The AI is having a hard time, you know, implementing this liquid effect. So these are the results that uh, you guys were mentioning that it's not working out. So here it is. Again, it works with liquid fonts. It doesn't work with any other fonts which are not liquid. And yeah, guys, mainly this was it. This is what I discovered so far. Thanks for watching.